Hey, what's up everybody? Mr. Hollywood here with a arcade one-up video. That's right, arcade one-up video. I know it's been a while with the modifications. I hope everybody's doing all right. You know, it's been pretty crazy, pretty hectic around here. Um, but I'm going to get this video out here because I know a lot of people ask me about it and... So, let's get to it. Uh, what it is, basically, it's going to be a kill switch. That's right, a kill switch. That uh, Two of them. Two, uh, two mods here. One of them is to uh, for you to exit out of a game. Any game that you're uh, playing, any type of ROM, uh, to exit completely out uh, with one button. Uh, regardless what emulator it is, what game on there. Uh, it's going to work the same way for all. And the other one is the power switch. If this wasn't working for you, uh, this will, again, kill everything off. And it's just going to turn it completely off, uh, again, with one button. Uh, so, let's get to it on here. Uh, basically, now, what you're going to need to do... You're gonna need to have two separate buttons on this for this to work. And the reason what I'm why I'm doing this now, all my mods on here, I haven't added any type of buttons, extra buttons, joysticks on here. I kept everything the same, and just uh, modified it the script and allow us to you know configure the buttons and everything for it to work. Uh, but um, you know when I released a lot of these videos, a lot of guys already had. Uh, Either taking these switches out, the on and off switch, where they don't have them no more, or they've already drilled holes here uh, next to the buttons, or added additional buttons here, maybe on the side, maybe on top of the cab on there, and they have these extra buttons on here, and not functioning or not doing anything. Uh, so uh, that's why I'm releasing this on here, or maybe you had the on and off switch wasn't working for you, maybe this is a better concept if you do want to add extra buttons although like I said I, I don't want to be responsible for if you are uh, messing anything up on there or you know drooling wise stuff like that but if you are what I'm going to do in this demonstration purpose is I remove the uh, second player from here so only these buttons are functioning and I added uh, connected these to the switches we're going to use this one's going to be the exit uh, emulator and this is going to be your on and off switch the power button okay uh, basically what you're going to need uh, let's go over here um, your buttons are going to need to be connected to the raspberry pi board to the pins here okay the on and off switch is going to stay the same just how we did the uh, original stock switch it's your pins five and six on here. So it's the third one down and going across next to it. All right, so there you see it. It's the uh, pin five and six. And make sure you're holding the board this way, not the other way, so where the pins are to the right. And then the last one, the uh, uh, exiting the uh, emulator, get out of the game. I used the last pin on here because pretty much not used for anything else. So. The very bottom pin on there is where I have that connected. Okay. Now initially I wanted to get this working with the button, with the start button, uh, to splice it using one of these uh, splicing tools. Just as you've seen that people did with, um, with their coin doors and stuff uh, to make the button function as two different things. The problem is uh, this button's running to the board. It's not going to the... Uh, uh, encoder boards that's why it won't work it'll give you issue problems we do have these these are great though too not only uh, splicing uh, making the button function as two different things but also if you needed to extend the wire these things are great very cheap on the Amazon you can pick that up um, but basically uh, that's how you're gonna do it whichever buttons you're using uh, your on and off switch like I said, it's pins 5 and 6 and the very bottom one on here for your exit the emulator function once you have that hooked up on there you'll be ready to go and this is a very easy concept i'm going to show you guys you're going to do this in like two minutes you'll be done all right so once we have that everything's connected you got your games everything set up on here um now if you did uh 
already have the code in for the on and off switch and we're using that and don't want to do that so you want to put a extra bar maybe on the back here on top of the cab as your on and off switch you could do that uh, just make sure you remove the um, GPIO shutdown code that we put in the uh, boot config uh, file that needs to be removed okay and then um, uh, the coding here we're gonna go into it now I do want to thank Ryan Gordon uh, for the script on here he's the man who's responsible that did a lot of the codings like your volume switches the on and off and all that uh, uh, very great guy. You could find the guy on Reddit. Uh, he's got a lot of good arcade one-up uh, tutorials on there. So that's where the uh, script is going to come from. Uh, basically, you could, like I said, you could do it on here. It's just going to require a lot more typing. You got to be precise with all your spelling to be correct, uh, punctuations, and all that. If you're going to do that, simply uh, you're going to hit the F4 button, F4 on the keyboard, and I'll get you here prompted. You know. To type this out. If not, if you want to do it, uh, easier method is to so you could just copy paste everything on here. I'm gonna leave everything in the description part of this video. Uh, just copy and paste everything over on there. Um, so if you're on a PC, uh, you, if you have Putty, Putty is a great tool to do this. Uh, you could log in on there. Um, if not, uh, you could also use uh, the terminal, which I'm gonna be using. I'm using the terminal. On there if you're on the Mac uh, so uh, let's hop over there I'm gonna go on the uh, computer now and we're gonna input the uh, the codings
All right, so we got all the coatings inputted. Uh, we rebooted and everything ready to go. And I got my bun set up. This is going to be my exit emulator, and that's my power on off switch. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, the other thing that's added in the script is uh, in order for that to activate, like I, I could hit the power on here, it's not going to happen. I'll, I'll also pull up a game, go into the game as well. Same thing with the uh, exit button on here. It won't activate if you press it or the power. It, it works on a hard press. Just how the initial uh, stock arcade went up uh, when you wanted to exit out the uh, game and select a different uh, game on there, you had to hold it down. And that's the same for both of these. Uh, the reason for that is, let's say you have kids around or anything, or you, your buttons are somewhere up here or something, and people are mashing the button, so you accidentally press it. It won't turn your, turn your machine off or exit you out. Like I said, you have to do the hard press. So I got Final Fight loaded up on here. We got the coding. So we're going to exit this emulator. And what, what's great about this is, you know, sometimes you may be in a, a different emulator that requires a different way to exit out. And you have to set up your uh, exit key to match the same or sometimes you get stuck, you, you're playing a uh, Sakai like emulator, even though you press the buttons, it still doesn't exit out. So that th those problems are eliminated by this as well, because this will work with any uh, ROM, any emulator on here, regardless what you're running, um, since it's connected to the GPIO pin. So basically, I'm going to hold this down, and then boom exits out and you're back to the uh, game selection screen by simple uh, hold of the button okay and same thing with the power here we're gonna say press nothing happens but if I hold this down boom it's gonna shut off and we're completely off just like that the monitor and there goes the monitor so kill switch that knocks everything off like I said for emulator as well as uh, power on off on there um, you know so um, leave a comment you know like on the video uh, if you guys like uh, I could, uh, you know release a couple more K1 okay, up videos uh, I got in store and plan to do unfortunately I haven't uh, purchased any new cast because of everything that's going on and stuff money being tight as well uh, so let me also show you, press this to turn it on, and it's going to boot right back up. So there's your on off uh, button, and also your exit any emulator kill switch on here, regardless what emulator you're running, like I said, regardless. So if your on off switch wasn't working, or you don't want to do the uh, double button combo on there this is another alternative way if you already have the extra buttons you're set if not you know you want to add like I said there's different areas you could put that if you do like that uh, let me know in the comments is this something you guys gonna be trying or want to add to yours um, unfortunately like I said I couldn't get it set up to be with the initial buttons but you know uh, maybe there's some people out there that will like that or do like the uh, the the new option feature. Uh, it's Mr. Hollywood signing out, fellas. Have a good night, everybody.